Hey guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and I am here to tell you how to send a one-off email. Uh, I've seen this report a lot. Uh, you can send one-off uh, text messages through contacts, but some people uh, want to just be able to quickly send a, a one-off email. So here's how I do it in my business. Uh, so uh, first thing you're going to need to do is create a smart plan all around um Basically, I call it email blast. So you could just call it whatever you want. You're going to use this smart plan for whenever you just need to send a one off email to someone. Uh, so I just call, you could just call it email blast or something like that. I already have one named that, so I'll just put one for um, my example there. So you create that uh, just by clicking create and create oh, that smart plan. Now you're going to go ahead and create or do send email. Now from the send email portion, uh, you're going to see the different options. So of course the subject uh, and the text here. So if you don't, this is also by the way, a great way to send it if you don't wanna do the campaigns option and email campaign blast. Sometimes uh, it can be quicker uh, and easier just to uh, add people on by utilizing it this way at this time. Uh, that's what I do actually for my monthly newsletters. Uh, but it's up to you. So we've got the send email created here. We can put in a subject, so test subject, we'll just call it that. There we go. And then of course we've got the uh, simple or designs. So you can create something from designs by clicking design, select design and selecting your design if you created something uh, like a newsletter or something uh, within the designs email editor and have that saved. So that's where you'd select that. Uh, for this example, let's just do a uh, example blast uh, email text. Um, so hello, and we could just do that merge field form to be able to include their name. How um, This is a test email. Cool. So put your stuff all in there. Have a great day, Garrett Stewart. Now I could put in my additional information or, or, or links and things like that. I'm actually a big proponent for putting links in um, in your emails because you can track when people click those links. Uh, for example, if I said click here to see my newest listings in Reno, Nevada, which is where I serve, I can just click there and then you know highlight here and then type in that link and I could just put my website address for uh, you know maybe the newest listings in Reno and have that do there and then that's just going to be uh, that's just going to highlight it to that specific spot. Just a little side tip um, and uh, to be able to do that you just copy and paste that into that little link spot there and save it and then that would turn a different color. Uh, to be able to do it. Once you're all done with that, and you can obviously have all the editing stuff there um, to do any design stuff, all you gotta do, I just like to hit save at that point. And you can, uh, what I like to do is set myself up and test that uh, email, make sure it looks good with me uh, on that. So you can actually add a contact to your smart plan just by clicking there and selecting yourself. Send it to yourself, make sure it looks all good. Great way to go. But once you're all done, then you can just click save and then you can go to your contacts and uh, you can see I've got all of these great contacts here. Um, we got Jim Halpert or Dwight Schrute uh, and, and fun ones like that. So if we wanted to uh, send them uh, an email, you could actually, of course, use your filters to filter out who you want to send it to. Filters are my favorite way to sort. Uh, once you filter it out, uh, I like tags are the best way to filter it. Um, you can filter it through there. Um, and now, uh, obviously, I use the tag fake. Uh, so you uh, don't have any uh, actual in real information, contact information. And then you can just select them all uh, if that's everyone. Or you can select, you know, a, as few as you want. Uh, of course, you can, you know, show more at a time if you don't have... Uh, more showing, whatever, and hit select all and, and such. Then all you got to do is select bulk action. And then you would just go to 
add to smart plan. Like I said, you can do a send text message this way, but uh, just by doing it that way, but this is the way to send a blast email. And as you can see, we've got the email blast one there. We'd hit select and we can start that now immediately. We can schedule it for a future date or you know stagger it out for a few days if you wanted to, if you have a bunch of contacts and uh, want to slow the pace out. Um, so just a quick, cool, quick tip to be able to send that. Now, what you do for next time is you, all you gotta do for the next time you send that email is go into that smart plans section and on, hit that little pencil button right over here to edit that existing smart plan and update the subject, update the email content, uh, all right here. And then you're done. You just save it and it's updated and that's your email. Uh, that's the one you use to blast out content to people. So that's what I use for my newsletters. That's what I use for if I need to just quickly send almost a one-off email to a specific category people. Great way to do it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions or want to see some of my other training videos, you can go to my website, commandconsult.com, and you can see all of my videos up here at the top uh, and other training opportunities here as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.